Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. 57 Ford Ranchero, big block, custom. I tell you what, we'll give you all the details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars, a little town in Rogers, Minnesota which we have close to 100 classic and collectible cars ranging all the way from cars back in the 20s all the way up into the 70s and beyond the muscle cars and the resto mods. But today we're gonna to talk about a really special 57 Ford Ranchero. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video from start to finish because we do a walk around, a cold start, and a talk about a cold start. This is a big block Ford. It's mm, with two fours on it. It is really, really cool. Look at the pictures of this motor. It is really outstanding. Uh, you can find all of our inventory at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. But for today, 57 Ford Ranchero. First year for the Ranchero. Uh, you know, it came out before the El Camino, so <clears throat> Chevrolet had to try to catch up to Ford because this was a, actually a fairly popular vehicle. They uh, basically took a uh, station wagon and converted it into basically a two or three seater, and you still had the utilitarian use of a pickup box. So it's kind of what we almost used to call a gentleman's pickup because it was kind of on the car chassis and it had the car uh, interior. It was much more deluxe than uh, some of the old pickups from that day. And I'll tell you what, a lot of you know companies after this came out were starting to come up with ideas for fancier pickup trucks, El Caminos, sedan, sedan deliveries, you know, handyman wagons, you name it, the D500 swept side pickups from Dodge and whatnot. But this kind of set the trend when Ford came out with this guy in 1957. We've got a really, really neat one right here. It's uh, Raven Black with gun smoke gray top. This black really, this is just really a nice combination of colors. But again, obviously they didn't have the big block Ford 428s in 1957. Uh, 312 was probably going to be about the biggest motor that you could get in 1957. So this thing actually has lots and lots of potential under the hood. And it also even has air conditioning on this car, which of course was an aftermarket because uh, air conditioning on a 57 Ranchero probably would have been as rare as hen's teeth, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, like I said, beautiful paint. It is, the it is a custom in many different ways. Uh, it's got the side trim all the way down with the inserts, just like on some of the, all of the fair lanes and whatever. 17-inch uh, chrome wheels, the really nice radial tires, which gives it a really nice ride. A little smaller ones in front, a little bigger ones in back. Um, again, we take a look. Of course, 57, we still have the single headlights. Nice chrome bumpers on this thing. Dual exhaust, of course, you have to have that. Uh, then we take a look at the inside on this car. <clears throat> like I had mentioned, it does have air conditioning, which is really a nice feature on some of these older cars, especially a black a vehicle such as this. Looks like it has an original steering wheel, original dash. You know, no one's really chopped this car up. They probably put in a little extra aftermarket gauges and whatever just for you to keep track of the, the vehicle. It does have a tack on the steering column as well. You know, you've got to watch that thing because here it is. It's a four speed as well. Now there you talk about someone who really wanted to go out and have some fun. Boy, you could uh, do that very easily with this vehicle for sure. I mean, it also has, uh, it looks like it has an, the original AM radio, but it has an AM FM cassette under the seat. So if you want your favorite tunes from the 50s, which you can take this thing, will qualify for going to back to the 50s in St. Paul, which is, you know, Minnesota's biggest classic or, or muscle car or older car show that they have sometimes close to 12,000 plus uh, cars 1964 and older. So this would handily go right in there. Would be a neat car. You wouldn't see yourself too many of those there. Um, I'm looking at the box. Like I said, it, it basically was built on a uh, chassis for a station wagon. You got a box that you can actually utilize this truck for the purpose that it was originally intended if you were so inclined. Uh, it's got the uh, lining in the bed and so you can actually uh, haul stuff. I don't know if I'd haul gravel or anything, but you know, it certainly would be something you can use for what it was originally intended for. And you could get there really fast. 
Uh, you can find all our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. You'll find stories of this kind of car, all our other inventory as well, and cars we have sold in the past. So if you're perusing the internet and looking for something to do, there you go. There's a couple other options for you when you're sitting in the airport or you're sitting there waiting for <clears throat> someone to come home or whatever. You got it right there. No, it's one of those things. Oh, I see it even has seat belts in it, which is just a nice addition. A lot of people like to have seat belts in these old cars. It's just, you know, we kind of got used to it now with the, our day and age. But 1957, it was an option. You could have seat belts, was an option from Ford. I believe it started in 1955, but, you know, it's just nice to have them in here. Other than that, yes, it's just one of those cars that uh, I think is really a truck, I guess and we should more or less uh, say and to be correct. Uh, it is just one of those things. If you're looking for something a little unusual, something a little different, you know, we've got it right here. Come on down. You can come and visit us at Ellingson's. I mean, we are open to the public. You can come in from Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and Saturdays as well, 10 to 4. So if you're like me, you like to come in, take a look at stuff. Put your hands on it, touch it, take a close look at it. You're going to say, wow, that's really a neat deal. And you just don't see that many Rancheros. And especially, I like it. It's the first year. That is just one of those things that I always find appealing from any standpoint of being a collector car guy or not. You know, the first year of anything is always probably one of the more sought after pieces. So if you're looking for one of these to add to your collection, you're a big Ford guy at heart, you like the big block. The two fours, I don't, I don't think I even mentioned it. It's got two four barrels on this thing. This thing is a true performance car uh, in all senses of the word. If this is what you're looking for, we got it right at Ellingson's. Give us a call. We'd love to give you all the skinny on any of our vehicles, including this one.